Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your May 2021 tarot reading. This is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you. I hope you are enjoying your season and if you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could watch a different part of your chart. You could even just look around on Mondays because there's a different format every Monday. So there's a lot going on here on Monday. And thanks to everybody for the support you've been showing from watching readings to hitting that like button and of course subscribing. I do appreciate all of you. It means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, love to invite you to join us so that you'll know when anything new is posted. Let's begin here and get the advice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? What messages do you have for Taurus, please? All right, so we're going to begin with the tarot, and then we will use the Angel Answers Oracle cards. All right, so your current situation, you've got the Ten of Cups, the immediate influence is the Four of Swords. Your destiny, don't let that get you too hung up, is the Two of Swords. The distant past, I'm glad these are in the past, is the Tower. The more recent past is the Nine of Swords. The energy coming in your immediate future is the Four of Wands. You're represented by the Six of Pentacles. The situation or, or person you're dealing with has judgment. You've got the Knight of Swords in your hopes and fears. Two, a Three of Cups in the outcome. You've got reunion cards coming on here. Um, so you're... And, and it could be reconciliation, yes. But if it's not, it's definitely happier times ahead for sure. No doubt about that. So before we get too far into this, you have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have a little bit of Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and a little bit of fire too, Aries, Leo, Sag. So you're going to have with this... Um, I feel like you both of these are are more of a fun, lighter energy, okay? So I feel like they're trying to tell you just be easy about things. If you've been stressed out, restless, sleepless, you can conf confused about something, just get easy. Go general, you know? If you're trying to manifest, go general as Abraham Hicks teaches and ha have fun in the meantime. The page of cups is here to bring an offer and it is law of attraction energy. It definitely can be the return of an ex or chance encounter. Um, the two of pentacles, though, is I feel like you're wrestling with some kind of decision or you're, you're in a place where you're moving forward, but there's something that kind of keeps you in the past. And I feel like this two of pentacles is trying to just move you forward. So the two of pentacles can be also very busy energy. And so be aware of that because if you have a busy, restless energy, you're going to keep attracting situations that promote that. So if you're like, you just need to sit yourself down somewhere for a little bit, you've got it here. So with the Ten of Cups, that is the Happy Family card. The Four of Swords can be a break. So for some of you, this may be all about going, getting back together with your family, seeing people you love again, that you've been on a break. And I feel, though, that you've used your time wisely. You may have had a couple of, you know, those uh, pity commi committee meetings that happen in your mind, you know, the, the ones where you may have had a few of those. But with the Four of Swords, it generally is about finding peace, finding solace, going within, meditating, taking a break from it all. And so that will allow you to get back into this place of this happiness, the the Ten of Cups is celebratory energy. So if some of you too took a break from something else and it wasn't just your family or love or um, social interactions, if you took a break from like a bad habit too, um, something you were doing that you didn't want to be doing, I just get that for somebody. Or maybe you stopped drinking, I don't know, with this tower and the Nine of Swords or something like that. The Ten of Cups signals that it is smooth sailing. If it's been challenging, you've got rainbows ahead. It's a rainbow after the storm, which I like to see showing up when you have the tower here. The tower is not necessarily a negative card, but our ego doesn't like to be jolted into a change the way the tower will do it. And so 
it does tend to cause us pain because we have that process of letting go and that can be very painful. So your um, destiny here with this two of swords, some of you may be very committed. You know, you, you're kind of in it in the long haul. That tends to be your persona. Very reliable, very trustworthy. One of my favorite best friends that I work with is a Taurus. Awesome coworker. She's the earliest person there. Very reliable, wonderful person, um, but very committed. And so there may be a little bit of a push-pull with this. When people are challenging, you may go a little bit farther to try to work with them. I hope this is making sense, but you may try to work things out more than you need to. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It may be hard for you to let go and see things for what they are in your life at times. Now, it doesn't mean that this is like a horrible cloud hanging over your head. It's more of just an indicator that you may have a hard time making up your mind on some things. Um, and it may take you longer to make up your mind on some things. I say this often, Taurus doesn't like to be pushed. And so if that's you and you say, yeah, I do need more time and I'm not going to rush to judgment, then they're just trying to indicate that you may find life goes easier if you can lighten this up a little bit. All right. Um, so with the tower in the back, this is a huge shakeup. It is a quick and sudden change and it created a lot of anxiety. The lightning bolt here is the universe coming in to knock that ego right the hell off the top of the tower. And so it can be jarring. You know, you could have been going along just as right as rain and all of a sudden you lose a job or relationship suddenly ends. But often with the relationship and the job, your deepest desire is that you don't want to be in it. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. It's that subconscious mind at work calling things in to really meet who you really are. And so when the tower happens, it is always to be replaced by something better because this was unstable anyway. There were negative elements to it or unstable elements related to it or it wouldn't have happened. But with this, it can be like the corporate raider. So that corporate raider comes in, dismantles the whole operation and rebuilds it like a well-oiled machine. So whatever you're going into, I do see long-term happiness, stability, and fun. So if it was like a job that you hated it, but it was paying the bills, whatever you're coming into brings a lot more freedom, autonomy, happiness, and success, and money. So that tower moment caused, though, an upheaval, and it shows up in the Nine of Swords. So for some of you, it, it brought in some anxiety, some worry about a circumstance, maybe even feeling like you couldn't move forward. But the good news is this is the end of a cycle. So with the Nine of Swords, it really is about connecting with those spiritual realms. If you're having trouble sleeping at night, try meditating if you're up in the middle of the night. Listen for an ambient sound in the environment. Maybe it's a sound outside or it's just that hum that seems to be present now that we have such an electronic world. Don't you notice that? It, it's just this hum that always seems to be in the environment wherever you go. But you can utilize that, you know, because that hum isn't owing you money or didn't leave or fire you or whatever. It doesn't have a conditional relationship. So use that to clear your head if you need to. Now, coming towards you, you've got a beautiful energy. I mean, I really do like this in terms of having all the elements, the stability that this provides. There's definitely reciprocity here. There's celebration. There's fun. So you have celebration twice here in the future. But the Four of Wands is a marriage card. It's uh, also a card of seeing synchronicity. So maybe you're waking up at 3.33, I don't know, or 2.22. Um, but with this Four of Wands, it is leaving a closed off, kind of restricted, walled-in city to this open vista. It is a card of a building, a very firm foundation, so where the tower came in, this is now the new foundation in the celebratory. You'll see that, you know, that couple, that marriage, and they're in celebrating, they're on the right path and moving forward. So it's spiritually, they're telling you that your manifestations are moving forward in the 3D world. If it's a career related, it's definitely a stepping stone in the right direction. It may not be your permanent career, but it's long term. I mean, it's not going to be a month. It's something, though, that leads you into more. So it could be a career that begins somewhere and ends up with a big promotion. It's definitely, though, there's no downside to that Four of Wands. It's a beautiful card. 
So you're represented here by the Six of Pentacles. You're bringing in balance, stability, and it's working together. So in terms of this, though, one person generally has a little bit more to offer, but they do it from the heart. There's no strings attached. It's not giving someone something and expecting some kind of a certain response. So if you have opportunities to give and help out other people, it will definitely lift your vibration and you'll get, it'll be matched. You know, you'll get other opportunities showing up. Now, again, in a relationship, because you do have reconciliation here or a new relationship that brings a lot of joy, it may be that you have, you meet somebody who's still in school or they have, although they're quite mature. I don't know about that because they have judgment representing them. I guess as I look at that again, it may be something where you're still in school and it's them helping you, okay? Or maybe they have a little bit more going on um, stability-wise because you do have the tower here. I guess I shouldn't be too short-sighted. Sometimes I get fixated on one card, then I see another one and Spirit says, hey, what about that? Um, so judgment is forgiveness. It's healing. Moving forward, Archangel, Gabriel, the you know these unclothed um, characters always represent security in who they are, acceptance and self mastery. It's the second to the last major arcana, so it is a mature energy. There's love here. There's no there's no ill will here. This is not leaving behind with heartache. It's opening your arms up wide to a brand new beginning. It can be um, with a reconciliation. It feels like a new relationship. And there's love here. If it's a new person, though, it's a mature love. And it may feel like it's something you've never had before. But it's so refreshing. It's a revolutionary kind of energy. This revolutionizes your life. And it's bringing a lot of joy. So the Knight of Swords is your hopes and fears. You definitely want things to move along fast, which is kind of interesting. Or maybe it's the opposite. that Because Taurus, like I said, doesn't like to be pushed. So maybe you're scared that it's moving too fast at you or it, or, or it begins and the momentum is intense and it gives you pause. It could be either way because it is hopes and fears. But with this, it also is just a reminder to be careful with communication because this is a lot of communication. It's very sudden and it can be short-sighted. It can be poorly communicated. So just be aware of that. It doesn't. It's not trying to say that some bad conversation is going to happen. They're just telling you to be aware of your communication and that energy. So you got the Three of Cups as the outcome. It's celebration. It is reunion, like we said. It's gatherings, and it can be new beginnings. It's like embarking on something that brings you great joy. You know, it can be even, I, I get somebody like getting a puppy, and they're so excited. It's that feeling. They can't wait to see that puppy every day, right? You know that feeling? Or maybe if you've had a child and you worked, and you couldn't wait to see that baby, it's that kind of joy. It just is celebrating and it's a happy energy. So allow it to be so. Allow this new beginning. Embark on something, a matter of the heart that fulfills you because these cups are full. They also are, again, there's dancing in this several times, but with these dancing women, they know those cups are valuable. So in a relationship too, I feel like both of you have, you value the relationship, you value one another, and you do things to celebrate, to have fun, to be, you know, enjoying each other's company. It's not allowing little problems to become big problems. You kind of just ignore ignore it if there's, and I don't mean totally ignore, like not address something that needs to be, but you know, you don't nitpick. That's not a, that's not a Bickerson's kind of energy. You know, the Bickerson's, that couple that that's all they do. Um, we don't want to be the Bickerson's and you're not with this. That's for sure. So you have here, listen to your intuition. So they're, they're opening you up. Your intuition is always your best guide. It's leading you towards this fulfillment. You've got remain positive. So you're definitely coming out of a shit storm. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And so it's really allowing yourself to move forward and open up into your new season, into this new year for you. Be assertive. So with the wands, you only have a just a little bit, but that's action energy with that four of wands coming towards you. You may have an opening and it's going to mean capitalized, make a move, um, because you'll find if it's a job or it's a relationship, there's a lot of fulfillment there. 
you've got within the next few weeks. So things are definitely moving forward with some momentum and that might be that Knight of Swords. Now you've got choose a new direction and I feel like that could be related to that Knight of Swords. So just settle yourself down a minute, get your mind quieted with that Four of Swords and be open to new ideas. Be open to, if you've got, if you've really set on something, be open to other opportunities. It doesn't mean that what you want can't happen, but there may be something about the way that you're going about it that may actually delay it a little bit. So um, definitely though, things are moving forward. There's love and joy here. I love you too, Taurus, and I'll be back again soon.